Today I'm going to show you how to use Snazzy Maps and Atlas to create beautiful custom Google Maps with multiple markers. Now Google does have a tool for building custom maps. It's called Google My Maps, but it's really basic. If you want to really customize the style, you'll want to use two tools, Snazzy Maps and Atlas. Snazzy Maps is a library of custom map styles. Atlas is a tool for creating custom maps with multiple markers. Put these two tools together and you can create a custom Google map. You can share this map on the web or embed it on your website. Now I should let you know that I co-created Atlas alongside my friend Carl. So I am a bit biased, but I think it's a great tool. Anyways, let's go. So let's start in Atlas. We're going to build a map of my favorite coffee shops in Toronto. Each coffee shop will be represented by a marker. We add markers by searching here. Now, I'm an organized coffee drinker, so I already have a spreadsheet of my favorite coffee shops. And I can upload that spreadsheet to Atlas. Perfect, that was easy. Now, when we click a marker, it opens a modal. Each modal has a name, address, notes, and images, and we can edit any of these. And we can also add images. Now, if we click publish and view the map, we can see how our map looks. And it's still pretty standard, right? So let's start styling it. First, we'll choose a custom map style from Snazzy Maps. Here we are browsing the styles. And I like this one. Each Snazzy Map style has a unique JSON array. Let's highlight the entire array and then copy. Now back in Atlas, we'll click Style, then Map, then Change Theme, and we'll paste in the JSON array here. Next, let's style the markers. Let's choose an icon that makes sense for coffee shops. Nice. And let's match the marker color to the map style. Bump up the size just a bit, reduce the border, and yeah, I like that. Now I'm just going to also quickly customize the modal. Let's fast forward through this though. Perfect. Now let's go to publish. And a quick note, we have the option of turning on a sidebar, which can be great for some maps, but I'm just not going to use it here. Our final step is to add this embed code to our website. So let's copy it and we'll head over to my website. In my case, it's a Squarespace website, but maps can be added to any type of website. I'm going to edit this page and add a code content block. I'll paste in the embed code. And you know what? I'm going to, I'm just going to increase the height here. Okay. And there we go. All done. Let's preview the website. And how about that? That's a nice looking map. Now a quick word about pricing. Snazzy map styles are free. Anyone can use them. Atlas isn't free. It costs $18 per month and includes 2000 map views per month. If you go over the 2,000 map views, it's 0.9 cents per view. Now what the heck? Shouldn't everything on the internet be free? Well, no, but here's why Atlas costs money. To create a custom Google Map, you need to use the Google Maps API. There's no way around that. Access to the API costs 0.7 cents per view, and there are additional prices for things like geocodes and autocompletes. Atlas takes care of all that for you. You don't need to know what it is, and it includes access to the Google Maps API. But we do need to cover that cost, so that's why we charge per view. Big picture, here's the thing. You need to hire a developer or be a developer to use the Google Maps API. But not with Atlas. Atlas is easy to use. You don't need to be a developer to create maps. So I hope that makes sense and seems fair. If you'd like to try Atlas, you can sign up for a free 14-day trial, and there's no credit card required for that. You can find links to both Snazzy Maps and Atlas in the video description below. Thanks for watching.